world with Searchline, where Challenge Cup issues past and future dominate. Rangi Chase was back in training for the first time this week since Challenge Cup semi-final heartbreak and that missed opportunity that would have fired the Tigers all the way to Wembley. I know I didn't lose the game, but you know, um, I know I could have won us the game, and that, uh, that's what um, was always on my mind. Um, you know, I woke up this morning thinking about it, thinking that we won, but I woke up and uh, it was just a dream. Instead, Leeds of course sneaked through, and after missing last year's final through injury, England captain Jamie Peacock's dream is about to come true. And this week, he was putting in some extra practice in how to deal with Sam Tompkins. You know, obviously I'm going to go there and win. I don't think it's enough to go there and play. You want to go there and win. Um, I know what it's like to lose in a final and I know what it's like to win, so you definitely want to win one. And um, you know, it's a childhood dream to walk out of Wembley for your um, hometown club and um, hopefully go on and lift the trophy as well. Well, the man who's lifted the trophy for the last two years, Adrian Morley, says Leeds are playing their way into some form and he tips a surprise win over Wigan, whose last Wembley appearance was back in 1998. And that shock of all shocks defeat to Sheffield Eagles. But with competition for places, Gareth Hock hopes to seal his comeback with a cup final shirt. I've worked hard why I've been off and it's because I knew what I had to, I was coming up against. So, but I'm, I'm trying my hardest and I really want to play at Wembley so I'll be putting it, I'm putting it 100% into every, every game now. Well, it's Super League all the way for Saints as they ramp up the intensity towards the playoffs. Last week they saw off Huddersfield, but they know they have another tough test when they travel to Hull KR. They've, they've got to continue to win to, to try to get into the top eight, so they've got a lot to play for. You know, they, they, they really um, probably got to win two of their last three and pro probably to make sure they're going to maybe win three out of three. Well, the Saints' temporary home, the Stobart Stadium, has had a new artificial pitch installed. There's been some debate that it could give Widnes an advantage next season and possibly cause injuries. Not so, says the Vikings boss. This has got plenty of research behind it. The surfaces have been passed by lots of governing bodies and I think it's, it's a consistent surface which takes away injuries. There might be some things that we talk about impact, but those are the kind of things you talk about with players all the time when they're coming back from injuries and when they've already got injuries. But this is a consistent, great surface. You can have your say on all of these issues on our Facebook page. Be interesting to hear what you think of the Rhinos' chances against the Warriors at Wembley. Bye for now.